In this video, we'll hear a little bit about what it's like to be a student at McMaster University. Scano, my name is Carrie Hill. I am from Six Nations of the Grand River Territory, and I am the Indigenous Recruitment and Liaison Officer here at McMaster. I work in Indigenous Student Services specifically. I'm one of the first people you will actually meet on your journey here to McMaster. I will help you through your application process and, and your transitional supports into the school itself. So as you can see, you're actually in the Indigenous Student Services office here in the L.R. Wilson building. And right behind me, we have the beautiful Norvo Marceau. Um, and this is one of the first things you'll see when you walk into the space. This entire space is actually dedicated to Indigenous students for them to come here and feel welcome and safe in any form that they need it. So that means we have an entire kitchen to offer students the ability to bring their own lunch, but also cook if they need it. We also have a outdoor classroom as well that we use for our Indigenous Studies program here at McMaster. We use it for different events, but we also have quite a few of our classes that run through there. I myself am a former student uh, of McMaster and have two degrees from here. So I've enjoyed my time enough that I've actually transitioned into the recruitment role. The services and supports are an integral part of how we are able to get students um, and support them through their educational journey. I'm from Six Nations, and so for me, an important part of my journey was that I needed to have family supports, and so I was able to commute back and forth to McMaster, and so that was a really huge draw for me. And being able to come into the student services office, especially um, in those early days, was really helpful so that I could meet new people, um, but also get to know the community a little bit better and know Hamilton in general. You don't have to go about this all by yourself. It's okay to ask for help, especially in student services. You can ask for help from your professors, from anybody in one of our offices, so that you can get that, uh, that support, but also the questions you have answered. My name is Jaden and I'm in my third year of health sciences in the child health specialization and I come from Sudbury, Ontario, but my home community is Fort Albany, Ontario and I'm half Cree. My name is Jordan. I am in my second year of public law and judicial studies. I am from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario and I am Anishinaabe and Métis. Uh, my name is Tegan. I'm in my second year in health and society with specialization in mental health and addictions. And I'm originally from Brantford, but I'm Oneida, Six Nations of the Grand River. I came to MAC because I did May at MAC in my grade 11 year in high school. They were so nice, they were so welcoming, they like gave me tours of everywhere, and I just knew it was like the community I wanted to be at. When I was looking for universities, um, it was a little difficult finding exactly where I wanted to go, but um, when I was looking at McMaster, I really couldn't find anything at any other universities that they offered, like McMaster did with their Indigenous Studies office, the services that they provided and the supports for students in the academic section of it. And so it was a very clear choice for me that this was the place I had to be. They did a really good job during Welcome Week of bringing all the first years together, um, trying to get us to know each other even if we were in a virtual format. And throughout the year, the ISNS office like ran programming all the time, whether it was like beating workshops or mocks and making or storytelling or bingo. Um, it was really great because all the events were sort of focused around getting us to know each other more um, and really giving us a sense of community so that we, when we entered campus again, we were able to know people. Um, so even like coming into my second year, being on campus, I sort of knew people, I knew how stuff operated, the supports that were available, so I think it was awesome in the first year having it online so I could get to know some stuff. Just a couple weeks ago we did like the Alpine Tower here at MAC and that was really fun. We did a walk in Coop's Paradise. We also have like cooking classes with our elders, um, which are always so much fun. I have been able to like explore certain places like Tiffany Falls or like different hiking trails, which is more of my interest. Um, so that's been really nice too. I was really unsure of what I wanted, like even in grade 11, I wasn't sure, but I just knew I wanted a level of independence. So I think just like coming from Sudbury to somewhere Southern Ontario was big for me. And also kind of like Jordan, I wanted to reconnect with my indigenous background. And I knew that coming somewhere with a more like dense population um, could provide that for me. It took me a while to um, join the Indigenous community at McMaster, I was pretty like closed off at first, so I didn't attend Welcome Week events, but it was actually through employment I got a job here as a program assistant. Um, that really helped me, like it was from 
um, no exposure to just full like um, like I immerse myself into um, the community and through that like I got a lot more opportunities met a lot more people with similar experiences um, so I think just once I took that first step it was just a whole new like it was like a game changer for me I grew up in Brantford which is like a predominantly white neighborhood and my father's indigenous but my mother's white so I was really more wasn't really immersed in my indigenous side of my culture but when I came to McMaster I was kind of scared that like I wasn't indigenous enough to mm -hmm. like be in ISS or like join those clubs but it's so accepting and I've just kind of learned that like you don't have to fit in a box. I mean I think a lot of students who grew up in urban environments they walk in and they feel like they don't belong because they either didn't grow up on reserve or they've never been to the reserve but I think especially with our ISNS office um, they're very accepting of everyone from mm -hmm. all indigenous backgrounds it's an open door office we have people who are not indigenous who come to our events who come and hang out with us here um, you don't have to label yourself as indigenous to come to our office and be a part of our community the experience looks different for everyone everyone takes their own path and to get involved in all the extracurriculars and get involved in all the clubs like people aren't scary here no one bites mm -hmm. yeah everyone's very accepting everyone for example like entering first year is going into the same thing at the same time and everyone wants to meet new people and maybe going through like the same um struggles or like questions um so just taking that leap and like maybe putting your foot in the door first to meet someone can be like very influential on them too. I mean, look at all of us. We our paths would never have crossed if we didn't have ISNS, and yeah, yeah. we're all good friends now because of it. So put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh.